Welcome, welcome everybody here to this workshop, the 10th uh, workshop of the Cost Action TU 1402. And uh, welcome, Miroslav. Welcome, Jonas. Please come in. Uh, we've been here a little longer. We, uh, we have had already a training school, two days of uh, lectures. Today, uh, the intention is actually that we also interact with the, uh, with the training school participants. And, uh, and maybe uh, we can uh, also find some support for uh, the case studies, which is the main focus of this course section at the moment. So a few words uh, to what has been happening. Uh, previously, we uh, had in May, end of May, uh, the ninth workshop. So here we uh, got a hold of the uh, case studies, uh, strategies, models, and tools. And uh, we have been working uh, with this uh, scheme, where, where um, we uh, define the scope uh, around our central array of information analyzers. And actually, uh, this part was also the central element uh, for the training school. We, we taught we around and inside uh, the scheme. So this was the end of May and uh, built upon uh, uh, previous workshops. So I think this was a very good event to get uh, so that we got started. Uh, we then had special sessions uh, at the Alcazar, two sessions uh, with 10 papers. And uh, at the IWSHM conference in Stanford, uh, US, where we filled uh, three sessions uh, with 15 papers, and we had an award-winning paper uh, in our uh, session. So uh, I think uh, this is quite a development, uh, not at all uh, foreseen or predicted. Um, when we started last year with the special sessions, we had a few papers, we filled one session, um, and uh, then there were also maybe one or two papers which did not really uh, fit the topic. Uh, now there's quite some development uh, to be seen. We have much more papers. Maybe there's uh, still one or two papers which. Uh, do not really fit our topic, but uh, but the amount of papers has increased, and uh, I think uh, this was also very uh, high quality papers. So uh, I think uh, this is a strong sign for penetration of uh, of this topic uh, in science. Uh, I'm yeah, I'm quite proud of it. And it's, uh, this is what we, as a cross-section T1402 network, uh, have been achieved. Uh, we, in the beginning of the year, we said uh, that we should extend our network. So we had a status and strategy workshop, and one aspect was uh, that we spread out and uh, now we have uh, we have already had Mark Stewart as an uh, MC observer from an international partner, partner country, that's the uh, cost terminology. Uh, we are happy to interact with Mark Stewart, but now we also have uh, Professor Michael Todd, uh, one of the strongest uh, representatives, or one strong one, uh, in the SHM community. I think this is very, uh, very, very uh, important that we link to this, uh, that we have a strong link to this uh, community. And uh, also Professor Dagan Lu. Uh, both have uh, input their uh, application in the cost system. And uh, it's somewhere um, in the system. <laughs> so. Uh, uh, cost approval is basically needed, uh, but uh, this will happen very soon. 
I'm uh, also very happy that uh, Jung Joon Quint uh, joined our action, but uh, he made it very clever. He came to Europe and uh, he's now a participant of our action. He's not an MC observer, he's affiliated uh, now to, uh, what is it? Uh, you are in Esberg, yes. right? And is it Aalborg University you are affiliated to? Yes. Yeah, okay, yeah. So, uh, Zhang Jun is part of our action, and we have pending um, uh, yeah, applications uh, from Jim Beck and Matteo Potsi. What is the plan? The plan is. Uh, we uh, can disseminate it at special sessions. We have organized here, or we are in the organization phase um, for these conferences, IAPAS, IAITSE, IWSHM, IAPSE. And uh, especially to, uh, to this one, uh, we can uh, we become again uh, during the day tomorrow. I, I think uh, here, this is a and uh, during the next presentation already, I think, uh, yeah. I think we already uh, we could say some more on this conference, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You've also uh, had this in your uh, mailboxes. Um, <clears throat> the focus uh, of our action is on case studies and standardization. Uh, we should support this with scientific missions, uh, and I think another focus uh, should be dissemination in scientific journals. Uh, this is the point where when we are collecting uh, quite some conference papers, I think we uh, then need to go on here with the scientific journals. I think this is the main points now uh, for the <coughs> cost action, the, uh, the focus. There's many more points, of course, to uh, focus on uh, many more work. Uh, and remember, we will support and adjust to any good ideas as long as we have budget, I have to say. Um, okay, uh, and then this is something I uh, always have to say. Uh, what did we promise? Uh, ded dedicated dissemination activities, this goes to to our workshop, this goes uh, newly to the training school, uh, which we have uh, organized the first one uh, just the days ago, and it's overlapping actually with the workshop. Uh, we are working on the uh, on the homepage. Uh, I think this is also uh, something where we are uh, getting hold on uh, just now uh, with the training school and uh, the work of uh, working group three. Uh, and this is our standardization activities, basically, uh, and we have just started with the, uh, with the working pipe uh, workshop. Uh, when was that? In, uh, in October, mid of October. We just uh, started to organize the work. We would like to focus here. And uh, we are coming towards the end of the action. Now we have one. One more year to go. Actually, uh, almost exactly one year, because uh, the start of the action was the 13th of November in 2014. So it's the 12th of November uh, 2018. We have the official end of the cross action. So we are here, and you see here the uh, working groups uh, one to three. Uh, they are. They are still active, uh, so this is not white, this is a light gray. They are still active, and uh, that's because, um, or this is also reflected in this workshop, because uh, here we have uh, the idea is that the uh, active uh, working group members of uh, group one, two, and three are supporting the uh, case studies. <coughs> They are here now uh, for today for interactive uh, work on the case studies. 
But the main focus is uh, on Merkel Group 4 with, uh, with the case studies. And Merkel Group 5, this is what I just said, uh, is, has been uh, started to organize itself a few weeks ago. So coming now to this 10th uh, uh, workshop. So yeah, this is what I already uh, introduced. Um, and we will do, um, we will get organized uh, just after two general uh, presentations. And um, <coughs> of course we have uh, deliverable. So uh, we would like to disseminate a a workshop report like we did for any other workshop too. So here uh, we need case study results uh, and uh, we will collect the results throughout the coming weeks. And uh, if there was many workshops of uh, these working groups here, then we need a factor. <coughs> so this is the plan for today. Um, the workshop opening, this is what is just happening now. And then Helda uh, is, has been very active uh, with the innovation committee, uh, so he will inform us about industry innovation days. Uh, Maria Jomala will uh, say something about um, social uh, media activities, and so uh, here we are all, also very active. And uh, then we will have a coffee break and get organized for, for this part. Uh, we, uh, Jochen and me, will, will do this basically. Uh, how we are getting organized. The, but maybe Jochen, you can say uh, shortly the main idea how we organize. Uh, so we have uh, in total now 12 uh, different case studies uh, in the pipeline. Uh, about uh, uh, two thirds of it is uh, represented here at the workshop. Uh, so uh, we think it may be not a good idea to split up in many groups uh, and work individually. Uh, so we want to group uh, the case studies uh, according to their topic as far as possible. And then we get uh, with the order of magnitude is not, uh, it's not decided yet. Uh, three to six uh, groups that work and uh, workshop participants that should distribute to these groups uh, according to their interest. Also, the uh, trainees from the training school will distribute to these groups, and then there will be a discussion about the main obstacles uh, to implement uh, practical case studies into these concepts of uh, pre posteriori analysis. And uh, each of these groups uh, will have a discussion leader that uh, somehow keeps track uh, on the red line, and then uh, it will be really a virtual atmosphere where we try actively try to find the solutions for problems. I hope everybody has a flexible mind, fle flexible mind today, so there will be some interesting discussions, I hope. Okay, thank you. And uh, continue until the afternoon, then we have the serial committee meeting, uh, two hours in the afternoon, and we have the 10th workshop dinner uh, at the Hotel Restaurante La Narazena. Uh, and uh, you will find this in the uh, agenda. Uh, where we need to go, and uh, I think we can also announce during the day uh, how we are organized <coughs> to get to there later. Yeah. later. <coughs> and I think uh, just after, just after the lunch break, we uh, we will gather uh, for a, a presentation about uh, tools, right, and then. Uh, and then the Elizabeth uh, will say something uh, about, uh, about tools to everybody. So we will gather uh, just after lunch uh, here in this room for a small uh, uh, planetary session. Okay, thank you for your attention. Uh, let us have a good workshop. And let's continue with Helda.